Right then, it's been a while, but we're back onto the Yeti. So we've not really been out in this since the Wales trip. It's been used as a bit of a van. Everything's been chucked in the back, so that needs sorting out at the minute. Uh, we've got a new awning to go on the side of the tent box, uh, which should be pretty good for this weekend, where we're going to the Lake District. So we're going camping on Saturday night, and then we're going green laning on Sunday with one of the customers, Nigel. Ryan's been green laning with him before in his new Defender. Uh, he's also a customer of ours that brought his uh, two litre bi turbo Passat to us for hybrid turbos and tuning. So yeah, the aim of today is to get this ready for this weekend. Nigel has pre-warned us that it would be good to have a snorkel on there. So I think that's number one job. It has been pretty dry, so hopefully there's not too much water because that would be this car's Achilles heel. Um, it's not really designed to be submerged that deep, although we did go in quite deep water in Wales. So yeah, let's pull it into the fab shop. We'll have a look what needs to be done. Tom's gonna give us a hand doing the welding. Uh, and then when Rob's finished, uh, doing the last few emails of the day he's going to come down and give us an hand to to get everything finished up so yeah see how we get on So Tom's here now. Oh, I don't like being on camera. Tom's here now, we're just gonna to explain to him uh, what he's doing uh, for the snorkel and then he's just gonna crack on. Come on then, Tom. I'll not get you any shot. Oh, will I? Ah. Right, so idea we had was, you know the enclosed filters that we used on Twaregs? Mm -hmm. Come straight off at mass sensor with one of them. 90 degree, run it long top for here. And then we need to go under the headlight, under here. Because there's plenty of room just to come straight out of the side. Mm. Up here, and then up there. Easy enough. We'll grab all bits for him, and we'll just let him work his magic. So, I think I started this video like 10 minutes ago, and I said we haven't had much rain, and, well, I think I've jinxed it for us now. Just look at that. Okay, hey, well, good job putting a snorkel on. So, I think I've just been a bit daft, but nobody corrected me last time when we discussed it with Rob. Originally, we were going to use an Amarok snorkel, which fitted on this wing, which is why we planned on coming down here and down there. And then I've just had a thought, there's no reason now, because we're making his own snorkel, why we can't go straight out of that hole, out of that bumper, and up there. So, that should make it a little bit easier, he says, um, see how we get on.
So that's us done for today. I think that camera ran out of battery, so I'm not sure how much of that you saw, but we'll have a quick look at what we've done so far. So sealed air box, we straight off map sensor, went down, so that little gap that was down there, comes out of the bumper, up, across the wing, and up the pillar. That's that. So we've got gaffer tape brackets at the minute, but they're gonna get finished off tomorrow. Um, and then once all the joins are welded up, I think we're gonna give it a, a lick of Raptor to match the front bumper. Should finish it off quite nicely. Uh, awnings on, pretty straightforward to install. Uh, just use the temp box universal brackets. So that should be pretty good. Um, so we'll get Tom to record when he's welding them up tomorrow, even though he don't like being on camera. Uh, and then we'll probably if we've got time before we set off on Saturday we'll get the awning out uh, and we'll have a look at everything finished off and fitted um, so yeah see you tomorrow So, Tom managed to get the welding done this morning. Uh, we have wrapped it, it was a bit of a rush job so we didn't bother recording it, but we'll have a look. I think it looks pretty sweet. Might be a world's first, world's first Yeti with a snorkel. But we've got those brackets on now, riv nut and bolts, top and bottom, so it's pretty secure. And then the awning is on and out, put a little time lapse in of that coming out. Pretty straightforward, nice easy job. Should do us nicely in the lakes if it starts raining. So it is a little bit brighter today, but the rain yesterday carried on throughout the night, so it might make things a little bit more interesting in the lakes. So I think that summarises this video. See you there.